portrait in a minute. I'm Brig Owens, from a defensive captain of the Washington Redskins. One of my favorite portraits at the National Portrait Gallery is this oil painting of Henry Aaron by Ross Rossin. I played baseball in high school, and Aaron's performance captivated me, just as it captivated a generation of baseball lovers. Like the rest of the nation, I was glued to the television set that April day when he broke the home run record. As an outfielder for the Atlanta Braves, Aaron finished the 1973 season with a career total of 713 home runs, only two blasts shy of breaking Babe Ruth's record career total. Aaron's batting had been at a torrid pace, and although he showed no signs of slowing down, his time in baseball was coming to an end. Breaking Babe Ruth's record would be one of the most significant milestones, not only in Aaron's career, but in the history of the game. On his path to breaking the home run record, Aaron was forced to tolerate insults and hatred from those who did not want to see a black man at the pinnacle of America's pastime. In a September 2013 interview, Aaron stated, I had many, many death threats. At his finest hour, Aaron was distracted from reflecting on his accomplishments because of the potential danger to him and his family. This did not stop his performance, however. Aaron tied Bruce Marcus' 714 home runs during the Braves' 1974 opening series with Cincinnati. The Braves then returned to Atlanta to host the Los Angeles Dodgers. And on April 8th, pitcher Al Downing threw a fastball that Aaron crushed 400 feet for home run number 715. Fans everywhere celebrated the new home run king. Aaron just put the chase aside and returned to the business of baseball. Shortly thereafter, Aaron entered his career with the Braves and returned to the place where he started, Milwaukee, to play out his remaining years in baseball with the Brewers. Although numbers do not define the man, they do go a long way towards defining one of the best baseball careers ever. Aaron remains among the top 10 players in several batting categories. First in runs batted in and extra base hits, second in home runs, third in overall hits. He also won three gold gloves from 1958 through 1960. Then on August 1st, 1982, Henry Aaron was formally inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame. He was recognized by the sport again in 1999 when Major League Baseball created the Hank Aaron Award to annually honor the best hitters from both major leagues. In 2002, Aaron received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Born into a hard scabble existence in Mobile, Alabama, on February 5, 1934, Aaron at an early age bet his entire life on baseball. According to biographer Howard Bryant, Aaron never had a backup plan because he never thought he needed one. He had single-mindedly determined to become a professional baseball player without a role model or encouragement from his elders. He had had to teach himself to play baseball, and he taught himself well, becoming the last Negro League baseball player on a major league roster. In spite of all the disadvantages he faced, he proved himself talented enough to reach the Hall of Fame. Way to go, Henry Aaron. This has been Portrait in a Minute.